Hey, today is Tuesday, March 19th, and uh, the, the, the big financial talk is the, the confiscation of depositors' money over in Cyprus. Uh, it looks like they're going to be targeting uh, foreign money, uh, specifically Russian oligarch or ex-KGB money, and the numbers that have been thrown around are anywhere between 7% for people under 100,000 to... Uh, now 15% if they just go after people over a hundred thousand um, and then coupled with that you know that the banks are the banks are there are going to be closed all week it looks like they're trying to get a vote through the Cyprus Parliament and you know they keep changing the numbers uh, they're, they're trying to get the the votes so it looks a little more legitimate you know, it's, it's hard to make theft look legitimate, but if they can get the parliament to sign on to it, then the ECB and the IMF don't look as bad. Um, but, uh, it, you know, it looks like they're probably going to take 15% from everybody over 100,000, and uh, that's going to be... That's really going to piss off a lot of uh, Russians, and uh, we got... Vladimir Putin sending over a bunch of warships over there. Now, coupled with that, we've also got reports now on Twitter that uh, Chase customers are seeing their uh, accounts balances zeroed out. This happened late last night. And um, I think what they're doing is they're testing software or they're testing their systems for a bank holiday here in the United States. Uh, you know they need everything lined up so that the length of time of the bank holiday is as short as possible they, they probably would like to see this thing go down over the weekend where the banks close Friday afternoon um, they, they put this software in or wh whatever systems they're going to use to to wipe out everybody's account or devalue them by 40 or 60 percent those are the numbers that I'm thinking that it's going to be and uh, it'll be the what they're calling the bail-in the depositors bail-in now the way the banking system is supposed to work or bankruptcy law is supposed to work is that when a bank is insolvent and uh, there's a liquidation the bondholders are supposed to be the first ones to lose out uh, the creditors of the banks are supposed to be next and then depositors are supposed to get their money first uh, but that's not what happening we're, we're seeing the exact opposite of this we're seeing depositors having their money stolen first in order to prop up the bondholders so um, they're trying to get the uh, I, I think they're trying to get their systems in place so that it can be a speedy uh, bank holiday and, uh, and and massive theft and I got no sympathy for you people if you are banking with Chase Bank of America uh, Citigroup or um, Wells Fargo you know all of these banks should have been wiped out in 2008 <clears throat> with the uh, with the last banking crisis but they were artificially propped up by Federal Reserve money printing and uh, the government dumping you know trillions of dollars in there and uh, it's just destruction of the whole system if those ba big banks had gone down then you know we had a lot more smaller banks that could have picked up the slack but now you know five years later all the problems are are a whole lot bigger and there's uh, fewer institutions to choose from uh, then we end all of this today if we just go to these big banks <clears throat> pull out all of our money and take only what we need and put it into local credit unions and taking the rest of that cash uh, our savings and moving it into uh, gold and silver uh, and I don't suggest gold for anybody who has you know less than 10 15 grand 20 grand um, you want to do like 50 percent uh, 90 percent uh, pre-64 coin uh, pre-65 coins and then the other half uh, silver bullion fine bullion um, you know the smallest the smaller the denomination of, uh, of of silver that you can get the better and I wouldn't buy anything over an ounce uh, unless you've got a whole lot of money 
and then I'd never buy anything larger than 10 ounces. So I think they're getting systems in place. They're they're beta testing things. They're seeing the public reaction. Um, I'm using the the amount of bank runs across the uh, the Western banking system as a barometer of how intelligent uh, the uh, the customers of these banks are. You know, if we see today um that in italy and in spain and in portugal the lines are out the door everybody's pulling out their cash i say hey those guys are pretty smart they're on top of it uh they see what's coming unfortunately i don't think we're going to see a whole lot of that we might see a little bit but um you know they've got all these capital controls in place i don't know whether they're restricting the amount of cash that people can pull out of the system i imagine once these bank runs start if they do uh, they will limit the amount of cash that people can get. <clears throat> but more importantly, here in the United States, you won't see any bank run. You won't see anybody try to pull their cash out. There might be maybe 10 people per state <laughs> that is um, that is watching this and seeing this come down and, and has finally seen what the light is going to move. A, a lot of people, a lot of smart people saw this stuff back in 2008 and uh, and got out then and it's going to be real nasty but if you're involved with these big banks you're part of the problem um you're facilitating this fraud um by just causing runs we can end all this and uh, it's going to be nasty. it's going to be a nasty crash but uh you know the longer that these big banks are are being kept propped up is the the bigger the problem gets and the more destructive the crash is going to be. So, um, you know, I was reading a, a thread last night on uh, GOP, and this guy was asking a question. He's got three grand <clears throat> in savings, and I'm working with a similar budget. I don't have a lot of money for preps. Uh, and he's asking, you know, I got three grand, what do I do with it? And I say, put one third into guns and ammunition, one third of it into beans, rice, and water filtration, and the last third into silver. Half fine bullion, other half junk. And, uh, cause that, that's gonna give you the most bang for your buck. The beans and rice, you don't need anything fancy, and get yourself a good pellet gun. They're quiet. You can kill rabbits, squirrels, birds, um, you know, to help supplement your beans and rice. And, um, <clears throat> you know, don't don't expect the government to be able to save you. Anybody subscribe to this channel already knows that. But my basic point for, for this video is that I really think they're beta testing, number one, the public reaction over in Cyprus and, and the surrounding area to see who's going to react, is anybody paying attention, and <clears throat> two, with the Chase customers' bank, uh, bank accounts being zeroed out, how many Chase customers are going to read this information or, or see their bank account zeroed out, All right, and then the next day it's fine, but do you trust that bank? Are you going to leave your money in there or are you going to pull it out? Uh, I, I don't think it, I, I think less than 1% of the people may pull their money out. Unfortunately for Chase Bank, that may be all it takes, but I mean, it may be one hundredth of, of 1%. There might be, uh, you know, 50, maybe 100 people pull their money out of Chase because uh, of this little glitch. <clears throat> But, uh, you know, if you continue to trust these banks, if you continue to bank with terrorists, expect to be terrorized, expect to be wiped out. Um, if you have IRA 401k plans, uh, expect to be forced into long-term treasury bonds, where, and, and then also they're going to uh, not let you take the money out. You know, the whole financial system is just breaking apart left and right, and the longer you stay in it... Um, the bigger the problem gets, the you know the more it has to be propped up with more money printing, and the worse the crash is going to be. So uh, that's all. Look for look for this barometer. Look for this this marker. How many other bank runs are there going to be? Is anybody paying attention? Is anybody pulling their money out of Chase? Are the people in uh, in Portugal and Spain and Italy? 
taking money out of banks or are they leaving it in there how in tune to the financial collapse or the financial problems of the western banking system are people you know to it, it would it's going to be very unfortunate for the majority of the people who are going to wake up one morning and in like venezuela they're going to go to their bank account and they're going to see 40 percent gone and then they're going to get pissed off the time to get pissed off is now the time to take action is now while your accounts still have the dollars in them uh, after this happens you're not going to have no recourse you can stand outside the bank with your signs all you want and uh, and yell and scream at people and, and not there's not going to be anything you can do about it so take action now watch for these measures and uh, and, and see what the people do um, I think the the less movement we see uh, with people pulling their money out, um, the longer they're going to try to stretch this out. If we saw a bunch of people start pulling money out of their banks, uh, they might speed up this process. I don't know if they've got timetables that they're trying to stick to, and it seems like the whole thing is speeding up. But uh, that's pretty much it for now. All right.